you guys so today I am doing my quick and easy hairstyles video this is all no heat nothing like that this can be done with curly hair straight hair this in between type of hair I have a bunch of quick and easy things some are easier than others some are quicker than others but I don't think any of them should take over five minutes so I hope this video helps you guys out and let's get started okay so like I said I'm starting with my hair natural and I'm just gonna spray in some dry shampoo I love this one by Batiste it really just volumizes and gets rid of any oil so I recommend this before any of the styles that I'm about to show you. So I just spray that in and then using my fingers to spread it throughout my entire head. The first look is just a simple side ponytail. You're just going to pull all of your hair to one side. You can do it on either side of your head wherever your part is. And then what you're going to do is when you take all the hair together, you're just going to leave one piece alone and don't put it in the ponytail. It can be as big as you want it to be depending on your thickness of your hair. So I'm just tying my hair into a normal ponytail and then taking that extra piece that I left out wrapping it around so you can't see the ponytail so it just kind of gives it a bit more of a sophisticated look than just like having a normal ponytail in there and I'm just using a bobby pin to hide that little end piece and to secure it all in so it doesn't fall out and that's how it looks after you do that then you can just pull it if you want it to be looser like I do I never really like anything too tight and I just, just take some pieces to frame my face and that's pretty much it for the first look now my second look is just going to be a twisted braid and I don't know if you guys have heard of this I've only seen it a couple of times and it's a little bit not really complicated, but it sounds kind of complicated. So you're just going to take your hair on one side of your head, like the last one, and just twist them toward each other. So to separate your hair into two separate pieces and twist them toward each other. And then what you're going to do is dig your finger in between each one, which sounds kind of weird. But you're just going to take your finger and separate each one into two more pieces. And then you're going to separate those and do the same thing you just did. So once you separate that, you're going to twist them again inward and then hold them and stick your finger in each of them kind of halfway and separate them out and then each time you do that you're just going to take those two pieces that you just created and repeat the same process. Keep twisting them inward, make sure you're twisting them inward or it's just going to undo the whole braid. I really like this because it kind of holds my layers which I have a lot of better than any other braid um, and I know this might take some practice. I didn't get it the first couple of times I tried it. It took a while but I just kept trying and it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. You just keep twisting and separating them out and then keep twisting and separating them out and you just keep going until you can't go any further or however low you like your braids to go. My layers started coming out once I got to this point, so I tried to do a couple of more, as many as I could, and then I just tied it off with a black elastic. I prefer black over clear. I just think it looks better to me, but that's just my personal preference. And then once you tie it off, it looks like that. I think it looks really nice, and it's a lot different. It kind of looks like a fishtail, but a little bit different. And then you can kind of just loosen it up however you like it. I just like to loosen it and pull out some pieces to frame my face. And that's what it looks like. Now, you, if you do have a few pieces sticking out like I do, you can just pin them in with a bobby pin and keep them like that. Or you can leave them however you prefer. And that's how the back looks. It looks really nice and smooth. Nothing really crazy going on here. It's nice and loose and just easy. And then my next look is super easy. And all you're going to do is throw on a snapback. You can also use a beanie or any other hats that you have that you like. I've been really liking snapbacks for the summer with just a casual outfit. You can wear them forward or you can wear them backward or whatever you like. If you don't like these, like I said, you can use a beanie or whatever kind of hat, maybe a fedora if you're into that. And yeah, that one's pretty easy just to cover up any oily roots. And then next we're going to either use more dry shampoo or a creation spray, a texturizing spray, volumizing spray. We're going to start off with teasing our hair and this is going to help throughout the rest of the looks I'm going to show you. So you're just going to tease at the crown and around your face and wherever you feel like you need extra volume and then you're going to spray in some texturizing spray or teasing spray or whatever you have. They make a million of these at the drugstore and you're just going to smooth it out so it's not crazy and this braid is the accent braid. It's pretty easy to do. All you're going to do is a really subtle French braid so you're going to start off with some pieces of hair right in front of your face on the side of your hair that has more hair on it, like the side of your part that has more hair on it, and you're just going to start French braiding. French braiding is really easy. Um, if you want a more in-depth tutorial on that, I guess I could do it, but there's a million on YouTube to check out. And you're just going to do that pretty much until your ear, or right above your ear, and leave a few more pieces, because I don't really like it going straight to my ear. But you're just going to go right above your ear, and then braid all the way down until wherever you like it. I went as far as I could without all my layers starting to poke out. And then you're just going to tie it off with another elastic. And elastics are always better than huge hair ties for this, because it looks a lot more natural. Then I'm just going to loosen it out to give it more volume and make it look more effortless. And that's pretty much it for this accent braid, which I just think looks really nice. Next one is, I called it a crown braid. I don't really know if that's a right name for it. But you're going to pretty much do what we did last time, but don't take the braid all the way down. You're going to start French braiding the front pieces a little bit less than I guess we did last time. But you can make it however you like it. Use more hair or less hair. I chose to do a little bit less hair because we're going to pull it out and make it a little bit more volumized. So you're just going to keep on French braiding until you get to around your eyebrow or around your eye area. And then you're just going to take the rest of the hair and braid it a little bit 
maybe like two or three braiding sections if that makes sense like what I'm doing right now and you're just going to pull it kind of back so pull it start braiding away from your face and then you're just going to pin it off like so which is pretty easy and then cover the bobby pin if you want and then I just pulled some pieces out to make it a bit more volumized and not look so flat to my head and you're going to do the same thing on the other side you can obviously just do one side if you want but I think it looks nice with two um, you're going to do the same thing on the other side obviously with less hair unless you do have a middle part which it would still look fine with and you just keep doing the same thing, you're in French braid until you get to around your eyebrow and then start braiding back away from your face and pin that. And we're also going to loosen up this one quite a bit so that it doesn't look completely flat to your head again. And that's pretty much it. There's a close-up look of that one. I really, really like this one. I think it looks really cute and kind of like a crown. I don't know, maybe you disagree, but if you like this, give it, give this video a thumbs up. And then the next look is super, super easy. This is just a messy bun. I wore this in my May favorites, and this is what I do all the time. You're just going to take a normal hair tie, flip your head upside down to get your bun nice and high on your head. I just take all my hair, kind of smooth it as much as I can, and then tie it without going completely all the way like you would do a ponytail, and then wrap the hair tie around that again, and then just pull pieces out until I'm happy with it. And that's pretty much it. It's really, really, really simple, and that's what I do kind of on a regular basis. And then the same thing goes with this high ponytail, which is another thing I do very often. It's the same kind of as a messy bun, but a ponytail, so you're going to flip your head upside down, bring it as high as you can on your head, and just keep tying it until you have a ponytail. Now when you're done with that, it looks really kind of tight and I don't really like how that looks, but it's up to you. And I just keep pulling pieces out away from the ponytail and try to make my hair look more volumized. I also pull out some pieces around my face to frame it and that's it for the ponytail. This is the last okay, look and my favorite one. It's kind of really bohemian, really I guess you could call it. And I'm starting with some texturizing so cream just to give my hair a bit more texture it, and look more beachy up. and kind of and messy. I'm just going to scrunch that through my hair and then I'm going to just pin off some right above my ear to give myself some volume on that side using two bobby pins to make sure it's really, really secure. Now with the texturizing cream, it's going to hold better because your hair is a little bit thicker. Right behind my ear on the side that I pulled off before, I'm just doing a normal braid. You don't want this to be too small or too big, so kind of, you can guess, I mean, on how thick or thin your hair is, but we're going to loosen this up so don't make it too thick, or it's going to look really, really big. So I did that kind of size, you can tell just by seeing it, and you go all the way down. It took me a little bit longer than most people because I have really long hair, but you're just going to tie it all the way down as low as you can possibly go, and then tie that off with a small elastic, and then I'm just going to loosen that up and make it look a little bit more messy and thick, and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. You can pick a piece of hair wherever you'd like it. I just picked it kind of right in the middle. You can also add more than two. I just did two for this look because I was getting really bored of braiding my hair and I was getting a carpal tunnel from doing it. But I just do the same thing on the side right above, above my ear and just kind of braid all the way down to the bottom again with the same kind of thickness. You can also do a bunch of thicker ones and a bunch of thinner ones, however you like it. And then once you get to the bottom, again, just tie it off and then loosen it up so that it doesn't look so tight and small and that just thickens up the braid makes it look a little bit more messy and then I took my teasing brush cheese my hair and the braids just to give it more of a beachy kind of vibe that's it up close I just think the braids give it a really nice te texture and just make it look nice and kind of bohemian and that is the last look I really hope you guys enjoyed this so that was the final look I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned a thing or two Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me, then make sure you go and check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and all that stuff in the description box. Leave comments on what other videos you guys would like to see soon. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. That was a lot of fun.